Hello students, this is Dr. Conley and today we're going to be exploring some terms about music that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with as we listen to more music. So there's a lot of terms here and I'm going to go through each one and as you begin to talk about music and as you begin to explore more and more different kinds of music, you just keep these terms in your back pockets. I'm not going to give you a test on them so you don't have to memorize anything but just kind of keep them in the back of your mind as we begin to talk about more and more music over the course of the semester. Okay, let's begin. Dynamics. Dynamic is a term for how loud or soft music should be played. We've talked about this before in some of our classes. Uh, loud, soft, uh, medium soft, all of that, and we're going to get to that later on. But basically what you need to know is dynamics, how loud or soft the music should be played. A crescendo is to gradually become louder. So as you hear a piece of music that starts really soft and gradually gets loud, that's what crescendo means. Dynamics and crescendo. On the flip side of that, we have decrescendo and diminuendo. Sorry, here it is. Decrescendo and diminuendo. Decrescendo meaning to gradually become softer. So as you get louder and louder and louder, you get softer and softer and softer. Diminuendo meaning to gradually become softer. So essentially these two things mean the same thing. Decrescendo and diminuendo. Now here are some terms that you can definitely use as we start our music listening process as well. The words forte and fortissimo. We've kind of used these in class before, but let's familiarize ourselves with them now. So both these words are Italian. Forte means just plain loud. It's just loud. When you're out on the playground, things are loud. You can't hear much because things are so loud. In terms of music, you might hear all the instruments playing at once or you know percussion playing, but forte just means loud. It's symbolized by just an F. Fortissimo means very loud. Maybe you're hearing a garbage truck at night. Maybe you're hearing um, firecrackers. Maybe you're hearing, you know, kind of an explosion of sound or somebody's kind of shouting in your ear, although that would be very unfortunate, but we've got fortissimo. So that means double loud, and it is symbolized by the double F. Let's talk about mezzo forte and mezzo piano. So forte means what? Loud. Mezzo, the Italian word for medium, meaning medium loud. Things are in the middle just a little bit loud. Maybe you're in the cafeteria and someone's using their outside voice, but in a bigger space. So mezzo forte, mezzo piano. We haven't gotten to this one yet. We will just in a, in a few seconds, but piano means soft. So mezzo piano would mean medium soft. Maybe you are just whispering to your friend in the library. Maybe you are uh, in the car listening to music, but you're listening to it on a low volume. That's mezzo piano. And they are symbolized by the letters MF and MP. So here we get to the terms that we were just talking about, pianissimo and piano. So if piano means soft, what do you guys think pianissimo means? That's right, it means extra soft, very soft. You're trying to be really quiet as you go down and get a drink of water in the middle of the night. You're trying to not disturb your baby brother or sister as they are sleeping. You're being very soft, very quiet. And piano, of course, just means soft. Piano and pianissimo are symbolized by uh, PP for pianissimo and just P for piano. By the way, I wanna go back and I want to talk about what symbolizes dynamics in crescendo. Dynamic is just the word. Crescendo is symbolized by this symbol here. Looks like an arrow looks like an arrow pointing outward. So if you have a note, and you will come to this later, if you have a note and the note is becoming louder, say it's a whole note, which gets four beats, the note under it, or the symbol under it would be this. It's like a V going out. And the symbols for decrescendo is just decrescendo and dim, diminuendo. Diminuendo is the opposite way. So if you have a whole note like this, you would have the decrescendo going downwards. You're going down with the, the sound, getting softer. Let's talk about some tempos. We talked about this in our last class and we mentioned a few of them that I'm going to bring up here. The first one that I know we mentioned is the word adagio. 
Adagio means slow, and allegro means lively and quick. The differences between these two words are obvious. Adagio is spelled differently, allegro is spelled differently, of course, so it should be easy to keep them straight. Adagio means slow, adagio, adagio. Kind of makes you want to yawn when you say it, right? Allegro means fast, fast and lively. Let's talk about these two words. The word fermata, fermata and grave. Fermata is a hold or a pause on a note. So say the orchestra stops on a huge note for a minute or for a few seconds. It's just a hold or a pause. And it kind of looks like this. And I'll put it right here for you to see. So that's a fermata. Normally when we're listening to music, we won't hear many fermati. That's the plural form of fermata. But we might hear some, and I will point those out when we do. Let's look at the term grave. Grave, meaning slow or seriously. You might also think of it as the word grave, but 